Good morning, and welcome to the 2023 St. Louis University Mid-Year Commencement Ceremony. The University Mace is carried today by Dr. Michael Lewis, University Provost. He is followed by the members of the administration, the deans of the colleges and schools, special guests, and the president of St. Louis University. Stage party, you may be seated. The faculty of the schools and colleges of St. Louis University will be escorted by the university marshals. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the endowed chairs and professors 
and faculty of St. Louis University. You may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the graduates of St. Louis University.
Wonderful to be with you all today. Again, welcome to our graduates and to all who have now joined us on the Chaffetz Arena floor for St. Louis University's mid-year commencement ceremony. We know many of you have come from great distances to be with us today, and we are so glad you're here to be part of this ceremony. I'm Dr. Michael Lewis. I have the privilege of serving as the Provost and Chief Academic Officer of St. Louis University. On the stage are the President, members of the Board of Trustees, members of the President's Cabinet, representatives of the faculty, staff, students, deans of our colleges and schools, and honored guests. As you are able, I now ask you to please stand for the singing of our national anthem to be performed today by the St. Louis University Master Singers under the direction of David Kowalczyk. And please remain standing for the invocation which will follow the national anthem. St. Louis University events, it is our tradition to call upon God to watch over and bless us all. I would like now to invite Reverend Jennifer Strayhorn, the Minister of Christian Education at Westside Missionary Baptist Church, to offer our invocation. Thank you, Dr. Lewis. It is a privilege and an honor to be at this institution. I would like to recognize my sister-in-law, Rochelle Smith, who serves here who was married to the late Dr. Jonathan Smith, who was my brother. So it's a privilege to be here. I want to encourage students. The Bible says in Proverbs 16, 13, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. As, you, as your classes and grading are now complete, may you strive toward excellence in all you do. As the speeches conclude, May your voices rise to pronounce justice and peace in the world. As the fanfare ceases, may you sing of joy even in the dark and lonely places. As the applause quiets, may you celebrate and lift those around you. As you graduate today, may your achievements grow and cause growth in your, commitment, in your communities. And may we all know of the overwhelming blessings of the one who created all things. Let us pray. O oh, great and almighty God, we thank you for the completion of another academic year and for giving everyone here the opportunity to play a part in the lives of these students and now new graduates. We are grateful for your guidance, grace, mercy, and love to have shared in this important and life-changing work. Lord, we ask today that you bless and guide our graduates as they reach this end and as they chart new beginnings. May what they have learned by being here allow them to truly be women and men 
for love, serve, and care for others. May what they have learned from them enable for them to continue to do the same wherever they go. Please help them to use all that they have learned here to make the world a better place, to serve others in true solidarity and kinship, to seek ways to help the poor, the marginalized, and those who are suffering, and to always seek their greater good because you, O oh great gods, are great. We know that they will experience pain and hardship, and we know that some of them already have, and we ask that you would sustain them and grant them solace and strength. And finally, Father God, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to build our community with these wonderful young men and women while they were here. We ask that all that they have learned and experienced here will allow them to build and bless every community that they encounter. Though they are leaving our campus, we thank you, God, that they will always be with us as a part of the St. Louis University family. And we ask that the bonds that they have created here remain strong despite any distance and differences. We ask all of this in your mighty name we pray, amen. Thank you, Reverend Ray Horn. You may not be seated at all. It is now time for the singing of St. Louis University's varsity song by our master singers. This song was composed more than 100 years ago and was performed as the university's alma mater at commencements until sometime in the 1960s. During our bicentennial year in 2018, we revived it, and it has become a new slew tradition. You're welcome to join the Master Singers. The Varsity Song lyrics can be found in your program. Oh, 
Thank you to our master singers for that wonderful performance. It is now my privilege to introduce the president of St. Louis University. Dr. Fred Pistello became the university's 33rd president in July of 2014. He is the first lay president in St. Louis University's 205-year history. Under his leadership, the university has grown in stature and enrollment. The value of your SLU education has also grown during his tenure as the, at the university, as it has been recognized for its academic excellence, research, dedication to its students, commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and to serving our neighbors and the underserved in our community. In fact, community engagement has been a central tenet of Dr. Pistello's leadership. The university has worked to elevate our involvement in the St. Louis region and, work, and to work as, to partner in bringing people together to address the region's most pressing issues. In addition, Dr. Pistello led SLU's Accelerating Excellence Campaign, the largest and most successful fundraising campaign in the university's history. The campaign broke all SLU's records, raising $604 million, far exceeding the original goal of $500 million. Please join me in welcoming the president of St. Louis University, Dr. Fred Pistello. It is an honor to be here with you today. Congratulations. Today, you join over two centuries of Billiken graduates. I am proud of all that you have achieved. You pushed through tough assignments that challenged and stretched you. You navigated the personal dynamics of group projects. You persevered through clinic, clinic excuse me, clinicals and practicums and internships. You worked through long nights researching capstone projects and writing theses and dissertations with nothing but Celsius and monster drinks to keep you focused. In my day, it was simply coffee. You remain devoted to your studies through the challenges and changes of a global pandemic. The resilience you have demonstrated is truly extraordinary. I am thrilled to be with you to mark this special moment in your lives. Welcome, parents, family, friends, guests. We are delighted to share this momentous occasion with each and every one of you. We are also mindful of those who could not join us, the loved ones in our families and in our communities who passed away this year. In remembrance of those we hold in our hearts and all those who have gone before us throughout history, we have placed an empty chair on the stage adorned with flowers. In honor of our loved ones who passed, let us share a moment of silence. Thank you. Now, as you are able, I ask our graduates to please stand. Please face your parents, family, friends, and those who have supported and sustained you, nurtured and loved you. Please join me in thanking them. Next, please, please turn and face our faculty and staff who have stretched your minds, sharpened your skills, and fostered your development. Let us thank them. Please be seated. When you chose SLU, you had a sense that it would be a good fit for you. You entered with an academic profile that placed you in the top 10% of students in the United States. Many of you traveled across the globe to make SLU your academic home. Some of you, like me, were the first in your family to attend college. Regardless of your path, I am confident that you realize that here at SLU, ethics and morals inform action. Each person is valued, 
and integrity is vital. We dare to choose courage over comfort and justice over indifference. You know well that there are three core parts of our SLU identity. We are Catholic, we are Jesuit, and we are a university. As a Catholic institution, our mission reflects our extraordinary vocation. We are responsible for cultivating a community of wholeness. As a Jesuit institution, we ask knowledge for what? In our work at the frontiers of culture and the margins of society, the lines of service and scholarship are blurred. Our research is grounded in our involvement in the world and refined through scholarly debate. As a university, the complexities of society are laboratories for thought and experimentation. We rigorously pursue knowledge and pass that knowledge on to each generation. And at the intersection of academic excellence and compassionate health care is our delivery of informed medicine. If we have done our jobs, and I know that we have, you leave SLU with more questions than you had when you entered. And others will continue to ask questions of you. I am confident that for the rest of your life, one of those questions you will be asked is, what is a Billiken? <laughs> the Billiken's appearance may be difficult to describe, but you know one when you see one. The Billiken looks like the quest to understand our shared humanity, to fill our unquenchable thirst for truth, and our desire to explore life's vital questions. The Billiken looks like an engaged citizen, one that seeks understanding across differences and compassionately strives for common ground. The Billiken looks like a faith that does justice, upholds human dignity, and contributes to a more peaceful world. The Billiken looks like authenticity, showing up, being seen, and seeing others. Graduates, as I describe our mascot, it is clear that the Billiken looks like all of us and acts like all of you. As Billikens, you symbolize the hope that it is possible to make the world the way it ought to be. Your generation has more knowledge, more data, and more tools at your disposal than any other generation in history. I have seen the depths of your work ethic and the breadth of your compassion. You are fierce advocates for inclusion and justice. The things you do and the words you use are important to you. You leave the slew arches academically gifted, research-oriented, empathetic, and culturally aware. You enter a world that is in need of daring leadership and contemplative action. You are prepared to share joy with those who are low, direction with those who are lost, comfort with those who are suffering, and hope with those who feel despair. Your pride radiates and will reverberate throughout the communities in which you will serve. Remember, you will always have a home at SLU and will forever share in the abundant resources of each other and your alma mater. SLU is not just the university you went to, it is the place you go from. Wherever your path takes you, lead with love and mercy. Make things the way they ought to be. And when asked what a Billiken looks like, show them. I wish you Godspeed.
Thank you, Dr. Costello. I would like to take a moment to note that we are joined today by members of our distinguished faculty representing all of St. Louis University's colleges and schools. They have seen our graduates through years of classes, papers, labs, projects, final exams, so it is most fitting that they are here today to celebrate one final success with our students. The formative partnership between faculty and students lies at the heart of the academic enterprise. All faculty are by turns transmitters of knowledge, purveyors of culture, initiators of professional training, mentors, role models, confidants, and in some cases, research colleagues of our students. The faculty revel in learning, both their students' learning and their own, and they are committed to intellectual and personal development. In recognition of the many key roles that our faculty play in helping SLU graduates to develop both educationally and as whole persons capable of making a difference in the world, I would now like to ask all university faculty in attendance to stand and receive the thanks of those assembled today. Thank you, faculty. Now it is my pleasure to introduce student Cecile Nemeth, the president of Alpha Sigma Nu, which awards St. Louis University's annual Excellence in Teaching Award. Cecile is a senior majoring in clinical health sciences from Elmhurst, Illinois. Cecile. Thank you, Provost Lewis. As president of SLU's Alpha Sigma Nu, the National Jesuit Honor Society, it is a special privilege to introduce Dr. Stephen Belt, Associate Professor of Aviation Science in SLU's School of Science and Engineering, as the 2023 recipient of the Nancy McNear Ring Award for Excellence in Teaching. Dr. Belt exemplifies the very essence of exceptional education, for which the Nancy McNear Ring Award was established in 1966. It was named in honor of SLU's first Dean of Women, who was known for her devotion to students throughout her tenure. It is the only honor initiated and bestowed by students representing all colleges and schools at St. Louis University. Members of SLU's chapter of Alpha Sigma Nu collect nominations and select an outstanding faculty member to receive this award. Dr. Belt has been at St. Louis University since 1998, when he joined the Department of Aviation Science at what was then called Parks College. He has served as department chair, flight training director, parks chief diversity officer, senior Czech airman, pilot, and instructor. Dr. Belt is also a SLU alumnus, having earned his doctorate in higher education administration from the university in 2012. In the nominations for this award, Dr. Belt was noted for his dedication and care for his students. He was described as someone who checked in and mentored students long after they were in his class. It is an honor to present the 2023 Nancy McNear Ring Award to Dr. Stephen Belt. Thank you, Cecile and Alpha Sigma Nu, for extending me this tremendous honor. And thank you to the nominating committee. I am overwhelmed. That it comes from the Jesuit Honor Society makes it all the more special. And to have the opportunity to address you graduates and to offer my reflection on this occasion, well, what an honor. President Pistello, members of the board, Dr. Lewis, Deans, fellow faculty and staff, friends, parents, and dear graduates. Today is a good day. 
But before I begin, I would like to ask the faculty who are present one more time if you could please stand as you are able. I mean, this is participatory. Wait, wait, no, no. But this time, I'd ask that you faculty members please turn towards your students, your graduates. Please let them know how proud of them we are. Thank you, and please be seated. Graduates, for sure, times haven't always been easy between us. There were days when we got on each other's nerves. Rest assured that those times are mostly already forgotten. We are so very glad and very proud to celebrate you today. You know, receiving this award and giving this address is not some something I anticipated. If you had told me at the beginning of this semester I would be standing here before you, I would have said, that's crazy talk. Yet here we are. And that is my first point for you this morning. You just don't know what is around the corner. Do your best you can today. Today is the day. It is the only day that matters, this minute. Take one step at a time. Be open to what you find before you. I guarantee that you will be surprised where your journey takes you. But of course, you already know this. You are here. My friends, today is a good day. You have accomplished the goal you set out to achieve. You did it. Take a minute and think back to when you found out that you were accepted at SLU. Think about the moment that you decided to come to SLU. Do you remember? Now think about all of the twists and turns life has taken between then and now. A lot of good and some not so good times. Downright bad times and maybe even one or two of those wonderful, too good to be true times. You've experienced them all, so savor this moment. Do not let it pass too quickly. Yes, today is a good day. Do you feel it? How does it feel? Parents, family, friends, you feel it, don't you? Whew, right? Here you are. Today is a good day. However, now it is time for a little quiz. Are you ready? A M D G. Do you remember what that means? The Jesuit motto, the core of our mission here at SLU, AMDG, ad majorum dei gloriam, for the greater glory of God. Cool, but have you ever wondered what that means for you personally? How do you fit into such an ambitious mission? Well, as you seek out your own answer to that question, and it is a question for you to answer let there be no doubt. God, however you understand them, delights in your accomplishment today. Because you reaching this point in your journey is glory to God. So what are you feeling? Happiness? Pride? Relief? Satisfaction? Is there maybe some sadness too? Is today bittersweet? How about joy? The best thing about joy instead of happiness, for example, is that joy looms larger. In terms of bittersweet, joy can contain all of the sweet and the bitter feelings. And that is a crucial characteristic. The two go together. With joy, you take the happy and the sad. You take the positive and the negative. To do otherwise, to ignore the negative, it would be fantasy. And that is not what a slew education is about. No, as Dr. Postello said, your goal is to see the world as it really is. 
See the world as it is. All around you, there are not so good things, both near and far. And that does not change or even diminish the goodness of today. Joy. If I have one wish for you today, it would be for you to cultivate joy in your life. Seek joy. Find joy in what you do, in who you are. Do not be afraid of difficult things, for joy encompasses the difficult things. Savor success and forgive failings, yours and others. Respect your passion, dare to dream, keep dreaming, and follow your dreams. You undoubtedly came to slew with dreams, and a lot of hard work at least one of those dreams is coming true today. Indeed, it is our hope that your time at SLU has not only encouraged, but expanded your ability to dream. For isn't that what the mission, the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of God, is all about? Now about dreams, they can go two ways. Have you ever asked somebody how they were and they responded, oh, living the dream, Eeyore, right. what happened? Why are they so sour? All too often it sounds like their dream has become a nightmare. Well, I think that's a choice. One each person has the opportunity to make every day. Each of us gets up in the morning and decides whether today is a dream or a nightmare. Yes, we see and engage the world as it is, but in our dreams, we have the ability to see how the world could be, how it ought to be. And if we strive to live our dreams, we will serve the coming of the world that ought to be. But again, if you're being honest, you know that it isn't always going to be good. Some days the nightmares will overcome the dreams. Some days you will be overpowered by all that is wrong in our world. There will be times that your failings eclipse your successes. Some days you will even embrace the nightmare. You know this. Everyone has their bumps and their bruises. We all have our scars. So what about those times that are not all right? When you aren't feeling the love, when you feel cut off and all of your confidence seems to have evaporated. St. Ignatius had something to say about such times, times he called spiritual desolation. He encourages us to move. And as we move, he, ha he offers this, have patience. Patience with your state of being, with yourself. Not an idle, but an active patience. You'll need to address your situation to get yourself out of whatever it is. But even then, and especially then, be patient with yourself as you find your way out of desolation. Live the dreams and overcome the nightmares. To put it another way, to take it all one step further, fall in love. To paraphrase another Jesuit, Father Joseph Whalen, there is nothing more practical than falling in love. Nothing more practical. What you are in love with, he said, what seizes your imagination will affect everything. It will decide what will get you out of bed in the morning, what you do with your evenings, how you spend your weekends, what you read, whom you know, what breaks your heart, and what amazes you with joy and gratitude. Fall in love, stay in love, and it will decide everything. After all, isn't falling in love the ultimate dream? Isn't it the ultimate God's glory? Okay, this is some soaring rhetoric to be sure, but it is not fantasy. Remember, joy is bigger than happiness, and love pushes past isolation, hatred, and despair. And all of these Jesuit sayings that you've come to know, AMDG, the pursuit of truth for the greater glory of God, 
cura personalis, men and women with and for others, magis, higher purpose, greater good, they all echo aspects of this fundamental stance. In love, we are inspired to see the world as it is and to set, it, set out to make it as it ought to be. But here's the thing about such lofty goals. You will inevitably fail to live up to the ideal that you have set for yourself. Yet that is what this Jesuit tradition points you toward. It isn't enough to be successful at your job, your chosen career, or your life. You set forth to change the world and make the world a better place. Most days in very small ways, ways unique to your respective circumstances and abilities. Change the world. In closing, this is my prayer for you. May you savor all that is good on this wonderful day. As you pursue success and happiness, may you cultivate joy. May you savor your triumphs and be patient in your failings. May you open your heart to your dreams and choose to live them. May you open your heart to the world around you and fall in love every day. And may you see the world as it is and set forth to make the world as it ought to be. Amen? Thank you. That was wonderful, Dr. Bell. I, I would say I, I, uh, it is a privilege to be the provost at this university. It's a privilege because we have professors of aviation science who give that type of address, asking us to find love, asking us to find goodness in what we do. Uh, again, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Belt. So this is the, uh, the highlight of the ceremony, where we begin to recognize our graduates for each school, from each school and college. All graduates will be congratulated by President Pistello and by their dean. University Marshals Dr. Elena Osterber and Ms. Deborah Pike will read the candidates' names. And the last thing that I'm supposed to tell you is to hold your applause until after all college, everybody's been up here, and um, that is always a ridiculousness to me requesting that because it never happens. So um, we'll bring the graduates up here. You're going to behave with the joy that Dr. Belt just talked about. The following individuals are candidates from the College of Arts and Sciences. Michael Cohn, Master of Arts, Political Science and Public Affairs. <laughs> Abigail L. Murphy, Master of Science, Sociology, Public Sociology. 
Melissa M. Knowles, Master of Arts, Spanish. Layla Aga, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Anna M. Bast, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Noah Beard, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Jacob D. Byerly, Bachelor of Science, Data Science. Joshua N. Cohen, Bachelor of Arts, Computer Science. Abby I. Counts, Bachelor of Arts, Communication, Journalism, and Media. <laughs> Tiffany L. Dawn, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. <laughs> Lily J. Derwin, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Kayla M. Dodson, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. <laughs> Alyssa Dudley, Bachelor of Science, Biology, Biological Science. <laughs> Adele Idor, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. <laughs> Isaac Evans, Bachelor of Science, Environmental Science, Biology. <laughs> Jenea Feliciano, Bachelor of Arts, Art History. <laughs> Thomas J. Finn, Bachelor of Arts, Math Mathematics. Galen Flynn, Bachelor of Arts, Communication, Journalism, and Media. <laughs> Sophia R. Giltner, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. <laughs> Bailey M. Gunderson, Bachelor of Science, Biology. <laughs> Jordan E. Halliman, Bachelor of Arts, English, Creative Writing. <laughs> Hannah R. Hammer, Bachelor of Arts, Communication Studies. <laughs> Anna E. Sue, Bachelor of Arts, International Studies. Young Young Kim, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Ryan J. Marshall, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Arena Martin, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Yancey McCarran, Bachelor of Arts, Art History. Michael McKenna, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art. <laughs> Hannah F. Nayar, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Blanca Pedro Martinez. Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy. Harrison D. Pope, Bachelor of Arts, Biology. Erica L. Rawiza, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science and Public Law. Emma G. Renkin, Bachelor of Arts, Anthropology.
Delaney M. Reynolds, Bachelor of Arts Psychology. Anna V. Roberts, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Aurelie Rodriguez, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Shelby A. Roeder, Bachelor of Arts, Studio Art, Computer Art. Carlos A. Salinas, Bachelor of Science, Computer Science. Denaya Salman, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Morgan M. Schindler, Bachelor of Science, Biology. Madison S. Sida, Bachelor of Science, Neuroscience. Eric Staber, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Avery Tucker, Bachelor of Arts, Sociology. Rachel E. Villalobos, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy. Lauren Weber, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Marcos Wester Rivera, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Valley Willman, Bachelor of Arts, Political Science. Miles Worth, Bachelor of Science, Mathematics. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the College of Arts and Sciences. The following individuals are candidates from the School of Law. Jane Hodel, Juris Doctor. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the School of Law. The following individuals are candidates from the College of Philosophy and Letters. Joseph Lux, Bachelor of Arts, Philosophy for Ministry and Language. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the College of Philosophy and Letters. The following individuals are candidates from the Richard A. Schaefitt School of Business. William A. Bates, Master of Business Administration. Ganan Sribash Bekasula Narahari. Master of Science, Supply Chain Management. Yi Xuan Chang, Master of Science, Supply Chain Management. Connor Quarry, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Global Management and Decision Making. Ranuka Lakshmi Duda, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. John P. Frank, Master of Business Administration. James F. Fredrickson, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Global Management and Decision Making. Russell Garofalo, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Global Management and Decision Making. 
Hector J. Guerrero, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Global Management and Decision Making. Selmadin Gusik, Master of Business Administration. Jacob Hagen, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Global Management and Decision Making. Xin Jun Huang, Master of Science, Supply Chain Management. Nicholas J. Hummel, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate in Global Management and Decision Making. Peter Hummel, Master of Business Administration. Casey L. Jaeger, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Rachel M. Jones, Master of Business Administration. Hari Prasad Jathaswaran, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Brandon Kinnison, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate, Global Management and Decision Making. Dimitri Kondrachuk, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate, Global Management and Decision Making. Omatola Kadeba, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Anne Marie E. Kontz, Master of Business Administration. Bektemir Kuziboev, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Pu Yu Liao. Master of Science, Supply Chain Management. Manali Lingayat Chingale, Master of Science, Supply Chain Management. Caitlin C. McReynolds, Master of Business Administration. Henry Moyerman, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate, Global Management and Decision Making. Joseph F. Mudd, Master of Business Administration. Naba Mude, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Fazlidin F. Narzulov, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Torung Punsawat, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Maricruz Salgado, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate, Global Management and Decision Making. Patience Afia Sarfo, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Carl Shimotani, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate, Global Management and Decision Making. Amukha Malyada Sri Suravarapu, Master of Science Supply Chain Management. Hannah M. Tebow, Master of Business Administration. Cameron R. Tucker, Master of Science, Applied Financial Economics. Barry Walkenbach, Master of Business Administration, Post Baccalaureate Certificate, Global Management and Decision Making. Barack Adler, Bachelor of Science, Finance. 
Alejandro Barron, Bachelor of Science, Marketing. Jack J. Vicina, Bachelor of Science, Marketing. Andy Beganovich, Bachelor of Science, Marketing. Ramatola Hamdard, Bachelor of Science, Management. Eric J. Bonelli, Bachelor of Science, Finance. Alexandria M. Brummett, Bachelor of Science, Finance, Concentration and Financial Analysis. Joshua T. Burroughs, Bachelor of Science, Leadership and Human Resource Management. Brett Carson, Bachelor of Science, Entrepreneurship. Matthew J. Cheng, Bachelor of Science, International Business. Sean A. Denby, Bachelor of Science, Sports Business. Sean A. Fahey, Bachelor of Science, International Business and Finance. Jessica Fajardo, Bachelor of Science, International Business. Francine C. Hefner, Bachelor of Science, Business Technology Management. Braden C. Haight, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Vivian K. Keyes, Bachelor of Science, International Business. Kevin J. Lane, Bachelor of Science, Business Technology Management. Nathan S. Long, Bachelor of Science, Sports Business. Dawson E. Lorenz, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. <laughs> Wenjia Guo, Bachelor of Science, Marketing. John Scott Lacina, Bachelor of Science, Finance, Bachelor of Arts, Art History. Abigail G. Lynn, Bachelor of Science, Business Technology Management. Kevin Komodi, Bachelor of Science, Business Technology Management. Travis E. Pack, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Joseph M. Pope, Bachelor of Science, Finance. Yeah. Owen J. Rome, Bachelor of Science, Accounting. Ayat M. Salome, Bachelor of Science, Marketing. Ricardo A. Selva, Bachelor of Science, Finance. Michael A. Snotkovich, Bachelor of Science, Finance. Carter A. Voss, Bachelor of Science, Marketing. Jale Zhu, Bachelor of Science, International Business. 
Changhan Yang, Bachelor of Science, Sports Business. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Richard A. Schaefer School of Business. The following individuals are candidates from the School of Science and Engineering. Mustafa A. Atala, Doctor of Philosophy, Engineering, Civil. Danushan R. Wijaratna, Doctor of Philosophy, Chemistry. Sai Shreyas Bhavanasi, Master of Science, Artificial Intelligence. Tabitha A. Kacharis, Master of Science, Biomedical Engineering. Ruth Kalix, Master of Science, Aviation. Vasant Avadhuta, Masters in Computer Science. Usama Ahmed Chata, Master of Science, Computer Science. Long Tai Chen, Master of Science, Engineering. Reshi Raj Dara, Master of Science, Computer Science. Chandana Anugala, Master of Science, Computer Science. Nikhil Guram, Master of Science, Civil Engineering. Wesley M. Hawkins, Master of Science, Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering. Donovan James, Master of Science, Geographical Information Science. Mohammed Ajil, Master of Science, Artificial Intelligence. Surya Shasank Dendakuru, Master of Science in Artificial Intelligence. Swathi Priya Reddy Kadura, Master of Science, Computer Science. Pranith Kandugulu, Master of Science, Bioinformatics and Computer Biology. Chardana Karthala, Master of Science, Computer Science. Sukanya Kadidela, Master of Science in Computer Science. Himant Sai Ko, Master of Science, Artificial Intelligence. Prachi Manwar. Master of Science in Computer Science. Woo! Natish Kumar Mali, Master of Science, Artificial Intelligence. Deekshit Matapali, Master of Science, Computer Science. Monika Ragapathy, Master of Science, Computer Science. Joshwant Y, Master of Science, Artificial Intelligence. Juan C. Skobalski, Master of Science, Geographical Information Science. Mahu Wang, Master of Science, Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering. 
Charles E. Carroll, Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering. Christopher D. Imbriano, Bachelor of Science, Aerospace Engineering. Eric A. James, Bachelor of Science, Aerospace Engineering. Mince Mibiskimo, Mibiskimo, Bachelor of Science, Aeronautics and Aviation Management, and I'm sorry. Jameson M. McCarty, Bachelor of Science, Aeronautics and Aviation Management. Grant A. Osman, Bachelor of Science, Physics. Anthony M. Rizzo, Bachelor of Science, Aerospace Engineering. Michael Joseph Huen Trong, Bachelor of Science, Aerospace Engineering and Mechanical Engineering. Harrison T. Wooters, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the School of Science and Engineering. The following candidates are candidates from the Trudy Bush Valentine School of Nursing. April Dulevi, Doctor of Nursing Practice. Lauren Fagan, Doctor of Nursing Practice. Amy Farr, Doctor of Nursing Practice. Elizabeth Gordon, Doctor of Nursing Practice. Sema Hazwai, Doctor of Philosophy, Nursing. Herpegam Setu, Doctor of Philosophy, Nursing. Amanda Ann Johnson, Master of Science, Adult Gerontological Acute Care Nurse Practitioner. Lauren M. Licker, Master of Science, Family Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner. <laughs> Shelly A. Shekel Calderera, Master of Science, Family Psychiatric Mental Health Nurse Practitioner. Andrea Stearns, Master of Science, Family Nurse Practitioner. Emily L. Harward, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Trudy Bush Valentine School of Nursing. The following individuals are candidates from the School of Social Work. Woo! Noelle Adams, Master of Social Work Clinical. Woo! Jonathan Yu Bailey Smith, Master of Social Work Clinical. Woo! Janae S. Brown, Master of Social Work Clinical. Holly M. Daly, Master of Social Work Clinical. Autumn T. Ferguson, Master of Social Work Clinical. Julia I. Hartman, Master of Social Work Clinical.
Hadley A. Karen DeJeff, Master of Social Work Clinical. Kara L. Knight, Master of Social Work Clinical. McKinley M. Nelson, Master of Social Work Clinical. Aubrey Quaranto, Master of Social Work Clinical. Elena B. Roderick, Master of Social Work Clinical. Ashna S. Thomas, Master of Social Work Clinical. Isabella Valdi Perez, Master of Social Work Clinical. Abigail West, Master of Social Work Clinical. John Smith, Bachelor of Arts, Criminology and Criminal Justice. Jack M. Stolp, Bachelor of Arts, Criminology, Criminal Justice. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the School of Social Work. The following individuals are candidates from the Edward and Margaret Doisy College of Health Sciences. Claire K. Bartouche, Master of Medical Science, Physician Assistant Studies. Say Rapesh Kavaturi, Master of Science, Health Data Science. Kyra A. Skinner, Master of Medical Science, Physician Assistant Studies. Hishani A. Thacker, Master of Medical Science, Physician Assistant Studies. Dylan P. Cassis, Bachelor of Science, Health Sciences, Pre-Medicine. Yar M. L. Pedroy, Bachelor of Science, Health Sciences, Pre-Physician Assistant. Elma Herrick, Bachelor of Science, Health Sciences. Iris A. Lake, Bachelor of Science, Health Sciences. <laughs> Tiffany Pig, Bachelor of Science, Speech, Language, and Hearing Science. Suruyu Paturi, Bachelor of Science, Health Sciences, Pre-Medicine. Amani Sikara, Bachelor of Science, Health Information Management. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Edward and Margaret Doisy College of Health Sciences. The following individuals are candidates from the College of Public Health and Social Justice. Katherine Kelly Sniffen, Doctor of Philosophy, Health Outcomes Research. <laughs> Mohamed al Master of Public Health, Biostatistics. <laughs> Najla K. Barr, Master of Public Health, Health Management and Policy. <laughs> Hannah Burke, Master of Healthcare Management, post back Certificate Quality and Performance Excellence. Claire E. Bush, Master in Healthcare Management. Paul D. Gill, Master of Health Administration Executive. Selena 
Lomek, Master of Healthcare Management. Catherine Rose Perez, Master of Public Health, Biosecurity, and Disaster Preparedness. Rachel Petiti, Master of Public Health, Behavioral Science and Health Education, Epidemiology. Isabel K. Begnaud, Bachelor of Science, Health Management. <laughs> Melina K. Bryant, Bachelor of Science, Health uh, Management. Jacqueline D. Wilson, Public Health, Health Management. Ella R. Pittman, Bachelor of Science, Public Health. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the College for Public Health and Social Justice. The following individuals are candidates from the School for Professional Studies. William E. Chatham, Master of Science, Cybersecurity. Andrea J. Hudgens, Master of Science, Analytics and Post-Baccalaureate Certificate in Evidence-Based Decision-Making. Shira Ivey. Master of Professional Studies, Analytics, and Project Management, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate, Applied Analytics. Kiran Harasid Manisha Mistri, Master of Science, Project Management, Info Technology. Jacob S. Strom. Master of Science, Strategic Intelligence, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate, Organizational Leadership. <laughs> Ching Chen Tang, Master of Science, Analytics. John Walker, Master of Science, Project Management. Hussam Barakat, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems, Cybersecurity. Susan Barnett, Bachelor of Science, Organizational Leadership and Technology. Charles Dogan, Bachelor of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Behavior, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate in Organizational Leadership. Catherine M. Floor, Bachelor of Arts, General Studies. Helen A. Greaves, Bachelor of Science, Business Continuity, Strategic Intelligence. Mario N. Green, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems, Cybersecurity. Petra R. Jackson, Bachelor of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Behavior. Zienna Johnson, Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate in Cannabis Science and Operations and Data Analytics. Yes, yeah. Zena, Jessica. Jessica Jordan, Bachelor of Science, Project Management. Donna J. Masterson, Post-Baccalaureate Certificate, Cannabis Science and Operations. Kelsey McGregor, Bachelor of Science Project Management. 
Melinda B. Thompson, Bachelor of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Behavior. Shadrick Tolliver, Bachelor of Science, Strategic Intelligence. Jennifer Tucker, Bachelor of Arts, Leadership and Organizational Behavior. Logan Cox, Certificate Cannabis Science and Operations. Janeri Feliz, Certificate Cannabis Science and Operations. Darian Worley, Certificate in Cannabis Science and Operations. Tesson Williams, Certificate Cannabis Science and Operations. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the School for Professional Studies. The following individuals are candidates from the School of Education. Ashley D. Burley, Doctor of Philosophy, Higher Education Administration. Owen M. Dabek, Doctor of Education, Educational Leadership, Catholic Education. Stephanie A. Dugo, Doctor of Philosophy, Higher Education Administration. Juliana M. Gates, Doctor of Education, Educational Leadership, Catholic Education. Katie A. Helfer, Doctor of Education, Educational Leadership, Catholic Education. Angela T. Moret, Doctor of Education, Educational Leadership, Catholic Education. Zachary R. Rogers, Doctor of Philosophy, Curriculum and Instruction. Shanil Goey, Master of Artists, Arts in Teaching. Matthew W. James, Bachelor of Arts, Elementary Education. Christina Viramontes, Bachelor of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the School of Education. We have some, we have some additional graduates. We have some additional graduates from the School for Professional Studies. Abdur, Abdur Rahman Shaikh, Master of Science Information Systems. Kalyani Kadragata, Master of Science Information Systems. Uma Mahaswari Bodapudi, Master of Science Information Systems. Mani Chandana Reddy Ganapu Reddy, Master of Science Information Systems. Oyinlola Obafucho, Master of Science Project Management Information Technology. Fidelis Okpanich, Master of Information Technology Pro and Project Management. Mahender Reddy Aku, Master of Science Information Systems. Rahit Chadhari Jarabula, Master of Science Information Systems. Rakesh Kumar Kurpati, Master of Science Information Systems. 
Pranavi Pasham, Master of Science, Information Systems. Viranshu Prajapati, Master in Information Systems. Manohar Rayala, Master of Science and Information Systems. Sahi Pabathi, Master of Science Information Systems. Satya Vikas Reddy Metapati, Master of Science Information Systems. Sandhya Kote, Master of Science Information Systems. Srijesh Reddy, Master of Science Analytics. Vaishnavi Ganavaram, Master of Science Health Data Science. Vishal Chandra Rama, Master of Science, Information Systems. Please join me in congratulating our additional graduates from the School for Pro Professional Studies. I now invite University President Dr. Fred Costello to formally confer the degrees. Thank you, Dr. Lewis. Will the graduates please rise? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of St. Louis University, I hereby confer upon those whose names were presented, the degrees for which they were nominated, and I further declare them sons and daughters of St. Louis University forever.
Now I ask everyone to stand, if you are able, for the benediction. Father Timothy McMahon of the Society of Jesus, the rector of the Jesuit Center, a SLU trustee, and pastor of St. Francis Xavier College Church will confer a blessing upon us. <clears throat> Lord, this is the day. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the culmination of years of work, years filled with challenges and triumphs, losses and laughters, friendships and growth. In gratitude, we pray for the parents, families, and friends, teachers, mentors, and administrators who have shared their resources, gifts, and knowledge with these graduates. In gratitude, we pray for fellow students who have accompanied these graduates on their journey and shared friendship, support, and encouragement. In gratitude, we pray even for the challenges and mistakes along the way that have led to growth and self-knowledge. In gratitude, we pray in thanksgiving for the rich history of this university, its faculty, staff, Jesuit community, alumni, benefactors, and friends. We pray in gratitude for our nation, especially for the peace we enjoy within our borders. We are especially mindful of the people of Ukraine and the Middle East and elsewhere where violence and war rob people of life, happiness, and the safety to study and thrive that we enjoy. We pray for those working to bring peace. This Advent, we call on you as the God of new beginnings and ask that you who began this good work in these graduates, bless them abundantly and carry it to completion. Bless them with your holy energy to use the gifts you have given them for their own growth and well-being, but also in un to unselfishly share their talents with the human community, to care for the least among us, to care for our common home, the earth. Bless them with the grace to make wise choices and to be faithful in their commitments. Bless them with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths, and superficial relationships. Bless them with anger at injustice and compassion for those who suffer from pain, rejection, starvation, and war. Bless them with a the desire to be men and women with and for others and the confidence to believe that they can truly make a difference in our world. May their integrity be a gift to our world and may they always remain a part of our St. Louis University community. We ask this in your holy name, ad maiorum dei gloriam, amen. Thank you, Father McMahon. Please be seated. We are nearing the end of our commencement exercises, but before we conclude, I ask that the graduates remain seated. After the stage party and faculty have left the hall, the marshals will direct you row by row to the exit. Please wait and follow your marshals' directions. For those who wish to meet up with their graduates following the ceremony, graduates will be directed to gates A and B, and families and friends are advised to wait for them there. And for our graduates who would like to take a selfie with Dr. Pistello, you can do so on the concourse outside of section 105 between gates B and C. Graduates, while this day marks the end of your time as a student, it's the beginning of your lifelong connection as alumni of St. Louis University. Your alumni family is composed of more than 137,000 mission-driven and successful alumni living around the world. Wherever your life's journey takes you, there will be opportunities to remain connected to your St. Louis University family. SLU is still your home. You will always be welcome back on campus. And now, a final word from Dr. Pistello. As we close our ceremonies, it's my great pleasure to again say congratulations, graduates. And I have one last request from you. When I point to you, I want to hear as loudly as possible, you yell the word forever. Ready? 
You are now members of the St. Louis University family forever. Thank you.